Well, good morning, Makandang Umaga. Welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Boy, do we have an exciting episode for you today. We have a lot of things going on here around Villa Feliz, uh, but I just took delivery of this Starlink satellite internet providing solution. Uh, it's new to the Philippines. They just released it in this first quarter of 2023. And we're going to do a test on this this morning to see if this is something that would actually work as a full-time year-round internet service provider solution. Let's go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now you're probably asking yourself, James, why do you need this when you already have PLDT, who is your internet service provider inside your home? Well, you know, we're real big about backups of backups here inside Villa Feliz. Here we have backups when it comes to our solar and our battery backup and our battery backup generators that we have. We have so many things so that in the event one system goes down, we have another solution that will take the place of it. For instance, like when we have brownouts here inside the Philippines. Now, this system right here, the Starlink system, is mainly targeted at places like on remote islands, places that don't really have internet. But it's also because of the pricing, and we're going to talk about that at the very end of today's episode, because of the pricing, it's actually a viable solution if you need a backup. Say you have a non-reliable non -reliable service provider or the fact is that you really rely on internet service to be able to do your job. You always need a backup for that. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit today as well. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. There are thousands of videos out there on the Starlink system, but today we're gonna to do some real world testing. We're gonna compare our internet provider that we have now with some of the data uh, the data analysis from what we can get on the Starlink here today. Now we're gonna do a box opening. We're gonna do a quick setup because they say it's very easy to do the setup inside here, but what we're really going for today, how does it perform? Let's go ahead and get started. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The basic package that you're gonna get when you receive Starlink is this one box right here. You're not gonna get these other boxes over here unless you order some optional items, which we did here and I'll explain that. Uh, but inside the box here, when we do the box open, you'll see this should be a pedestal, should be an antenna, and there should be a router. Now these two other items that we have over here, these are accessories. I ordered this, this is a connection that will go on the top of a pipe so we can do a pole mount. We'll do a pole mount for the antenna eventually uh, to get us up in the air and away from some of these trees that we have around here. And this box over here, this is a extension cable. What comes inside this box here is 75 feet of connection cable between the antenna itself and the router. Uh, this is a 150 feet. This is double the amount that we have in here in case I want to set the system up on one side of the yard and I want a long cable that connects back up here. And the cable, what it does, it provides power and a data connection that comes back from the antenna over to the router. Right, so let's see what's in the box. As I said, you have a pedestal. We have the antenna itself. Some instructions. <laughs> Again, the instructions are very simple. Uh, antenna connected to the router, uh, connected to power in the wall, and then you have your, your smartphone that's going to have the app on it to help you set it up. You have your router, and you have 75 feet of 
interconnection cable. First thing we're gonna do, we need to find a location for setting up. Obviously, this is not a good location right here down in the basement area, because we just have too many obstructions from the sky. So we're gonna go to the back. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna use this little, this little app here. Let me go over here in the shade. This little app that we have right here. And what the app will do, the app will help us find a location and check for obstructions. Uh, so I think just for a temporary measure, uh, since I know this part of the sky in the back, uh, which, uh, weirdly enough, it's sort of the north, direct to the north area, uh, the north northern sky for us here. This is the area we're going to be shooting at. Now you can see back here, there's obstruction is the house. We got some trees here, so I'm going to get up uh, either on this porch right here or up on the lanai on the very top, and then we'll do a check with the the application right here and see what it tells us as far as obstructions goes. Now the app is really intuitive. It's it's very easy to set up and do your calibration and do your site survey of the sky around your house. So you're basically gonna select which Star, Starlink antenna that you're using, and then you're gonna point your phone, which is the application, to the sky. Now we're standing right here on the bottom porch, and I know there's a lot of obstruction around here. We have lots of coconut trees. So I don't expect a really good result from the clear sky in this area. Uh, so we'll look at the results here. And as I thought, you may want to find a better spot. It tells you right off. So the blue area is the clear, clear area. The red areas on there are gonna be areas of obstruction, which were all those coconut trees on the first floor. So then I went up to the second floor. I went up on the lanai on the second floor of the house, and I did the same. And I pointed the camera to the sky and we got a little bit better results here. And you can see after it does its analysis right here, it tells you this is a decent spot for your Starlink. It's as easy, it's easy as that. Uh, the, the mapping you'll see for the sky, it takes a couple of rotations to go around. You'll see most of it's in the blue. There's very little that's in the red. The only spot that's in the red on this scan, on this survey, is right at the edge of our roof line. And if we raise it up a little bit higher, we'll probably avoid that as well when we do the initial install. Now the hookup for the, for the router to the, uh, to the antenna, it's very easy. You keep connecting your data cable, then you connect in your power, and then it will initialize. Once you've completed acquiring all the satellites that up there, it's going to go into a static position. That's the optimal place that it does during its initialization. The next thing you want to do, you want to look maybe at the statistics, uh, the network statistics to see how you're doing. It's a very comprehensive and a very well thought out and designed system for checking out the performance of your Starlink satellite system. Uh, it has a built-in speed test, just like the speed test uh, that you can get on multiple types of applications on your phone or on your computer. And you can see right here, initially, right at the very beginning, after just a couple of minutes up, it's showing 170, uh, 170 meg on the down. And uh, let's see, it's looking like around 17, around 17 meg on the upload with 83 milliseconds of latency. And that's a very, very good latency speed. Latency is the time it takes to get to the satellite and back down to your antenna. Uh, it also has an advanced speed test uh, option that you can go inside here. So you can actually look and see if there's a problem. You can see is it a problem between the Starlink satellite system and your router, or it's between your Wi-Fi router and your device, your iPhone or your computer or whatever you're streaming to. So you can see coming from the uh, internet uh, with the router to the internet, basically the router up to the Starlink system, it's got a 207 megabits of, of downlink and 10 megabits of uplink. Now when you go over to the opposite side, it should be extremely high because it's just between you and the router. And you see we're over 500, we're over 500 right here. But just remember, this isn't gonna represent your actual amount of what you're gonna to connect to the internet. So now we're over 600, you see, for a down. Because the that the amount that you're actually gonna download is gonna be based on uh, the lowest number that you see right here, which is a 207, because that's gonna be your bottleneck right there. That's your actual amount. Now our next test here is actually from 
the computer, the, that, what you would normally do if you were sitting inside your house and you want to do a test. So this is going to be more of a real world test right here between the computer and your internet provider. So you can see right here, we're getting on a download. Uh, and this, this right here is on, on Starlink. And we're getting 129 megabits on the download. And it's looking somewhere above 20, 20 megabits on the upload side. Uh, so but both both very respectable, very respectable for a internet type of a uh, type of a system. Now here we are on the PLDT fiber on the 2.4 gigahertz network, and you can see even on the PLDT on the 2.4, it, we only got 83 at the time we did the test right here, uh, and that's on the 2.4 gigahertz network. The ratings that they give you when you purchase is on a 5 gigahertz network, and the upload was 125, which is much better. Now we're going to go over to the 5 gigahertz, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is if you have the system and you set up both your 2.4 and your 5 in your house, if if you are close to it you always want to be on your 5 gigahertz network because you'll get great speeds like you see right here anyway what we're going to do here we're going to do some real world testing uh using our pavilion back over here which is where we spend, especially Saturday nights, we have our gathering with all of our neighbors around here. We all get together, we have open, uh, open gate, open gate policy, uh, pavilion. We sit around here and we have lots of, lots of fun and activities and food and music and television, movies. Uh, so anyway, uh, occasionally what happens, especially around 8.30 at night, whenever all these users are using the internet in our local area, even though we're on fiber, we'll get some buffering every now and then from our Wi-Fi that comes from inside the house, right inside the sunroom area right there, to this area right here. Uh, now the antenna, you see, we have a temporary mount up there it's just sitting on a piece of plywood until we get our pivot mount that's coming in from Starlink for a permanent solution uh, but we have the the router way back in the corner over there which will probably come up with some type of a solution uh, to make it waterproof over in that area and we're, we're going to do some real world testing here we're going to connect both to the Starlink and we're going to connect to our PLDT here and what you guys take a look and see if this is sustainable running something like a 4k video here in our pavilion on our pavilion tv and compare it with what goes on with pldt uh, internet access here as well now to even stress this even more and to make this more realistic we're going to connect to a vpn and we're going to connect to a service back in the us uh, the vpn will cause things to slow down as well so if you really want to stress test and do a system analysis and test on your satellite internet provider this is probably the best test right here so we're going to connect up to uh nordvpn look at some content from back in the u.s so we don't get hit with any type of copyright uh while we're trying to show the performance of this we're actually going to just connect to our channel here uh, okay we're looking at my pi dreams opening scene right here it'll go into regular video here in just a second uh, so what we're testing on 4K and 4K, do we have any problems? Do we have any problems with resolution, with buffering, any kind of problems? Uh, so, so far it's looking really good. I don't see any issues. Look, you're like most and it's clear. You can see, someone. I don't know if you can see using the GoPro on a TV, uh, but it's actually coming out in 4K. There is really no issues with the resolution here. Let's go ahead and test it using PLDT. So let's connect up to our PLDT connection right here, and then we'll connect back up again to the to the uh, VPN. And I notice already I have one bar of the PLDT, but when I was on Starlink, and you can see it right here, Starlink has two. There are two two bars over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the VPN back on, and we'll do the testing on YouTube. All right, here's the intro, We're looking pretty good. We'll go a little bit further to we'll see if there's any issues with resolution. You let me know if you if it looks any different to you. Maybe we can compare this side by side. I think they're gonna be about the same. I th 
Sorry for the glare and the reflection on the screen. Well, if you're like most men around here who are married to someone, you're going to find out that you have something that's called a honeydew list. Well, it looks it looks about the same. So I'm going to say one will work when we when as long as there isn't any issues like with PLDT during the e evening time, uh, it's going to be okay. But again, you saw that there was one bar. We had one bar that's reaching out here in two bars with the Starlink. So that's that's one plus for the Starlink. And we haven't done a lot of testing. We did a little bit enough to get an introduction as to the performance of the Starlink system right here, but. But preliminary testing shows that the system is performing really well. Uh, the down the download speeds are very good. They seem to be stable so far. Again, we'll do some updates as we've had the system here for a while. Uh, but the the download rates look great. Now, the only thing is the upload. The upload rates are not what you would normally get on a fiber system. But if you're the normal user and you're not a YouTube vlogger or somebody who has to upload gigabytes and gigabytes of data all the time, then this is probably a system that would work extremely well for you, whether you're in a remote location or even if you want an alternative to your internet provider, uh, if you're not happy with the performance that you're having, or even the price, the pricing is actually pretty good for the Starlink system. Now we're gonna continue to do updates and as time goes on, we'll let you know how it performs over the long haul. I think we're gonna to cut today's episode right here. Uh, we're going to do some following episodes after we've had this for a while and we get to do some tracking of the performance. But for today, I got to tell you, I'm really impressed by the system. The system will pretty much satisfy 99% of everybody's needs. And that's mainly on the download. The download rates are very good. You can do high definition streaming. Uh, if, you, if you work at home, you're going to be able to do that as well. Uh, for people like myself who are content creators who have to upload gigabits of data, there's a little bit of a trade-off there because it's going to take a little bit longer to be able to get those gigabits of data at the upload data rate speeds uh, that we've clocked so far. But we'll continue to, to, to take a look at that inside the future. Uh, again, we're gonna do some updates as soon as we've had some more time on the system. Well, if you have any questions, just put some questions down inside the comment block and I'll try to answer those as well as possible. Now, if you enjoyed today's episode, please give me a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on the little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and notified if you ring that bell next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>